Hey guys, it's me, Marquita, and I am starting a new playlist on my channel. The playlist is called Get to Know Me, and I will be answering questions, but I also would like to get to know y'all, so leave your questions and answer in the description below so that we can get to know each other. Hey everybody, it's me, Marquita. And today's question is, what movie can I watch over and over? I... I can watch um, The Color Purple is my number one movie that I can literally watch it from beginning to end it go off and come right back on and I can watch it from beginning to end I almost have that movie memorized down to like, I can almost act it out. Not quite. And y'all know, <laughs> my brain is, it like, is not wanting me to remember things. So, it's, it's, it's trying. But y'all know how my brain is set up. Um, another movie that I could watch, it go off and come right back on, is my favorite Christmas movie. And that's A Christmas Story. That is my number one, hands down, favorite Christmas movie. Hands down, favorite. I will. Okay, so if I'm going to do my top, nope, I'm not going to do that. I would just let y'all know that movie I can watch over and over and over and over and over. My favorite of the Scrooge movies is the Albert Feeney but that's only because I love me some Albert Feeney that's not my favorite Albert Feeney movie my favorite Albert Feeney movie and, I, and I'm saying when I say his movie the movie that he acted in is an it's actually a tie because my favorite Albert Feeney movie is Big Fish and it's tied with Aaron Brockovich. Them two movies are my two favorite Albert Feeney movies. And the reason why Big Fish is my favorite movie and that, uh, I mean, the reason why that's, the okay, start over. The reason why Big Fish is one of my favorite movies is because I I'm not too keen on Ewan McGregor and I thought I'm not gonna like this movie I'm gonna watch it but I'm not gonna like it but then because he because Albert you know because he's the older guy in it because he was telling his story and then it had Helena bottom caught bottom carter it had and you know i love me some bellatrix or i love me some helena <laughs> it's my favorite like you know what i'm gonna make that my other video one after this if i don't do it just remind me it's it's about helena but it's not about helena bottom carter okay it it has something to do with helena if i don't make it um, it does have it does have something to do with that. I I, I am gonna do it, but so that's why Big Fish is my favorite of his movies is because he's telling his life story, you know. And then um, the reason why Aaron Brockovich is my second favorite Albert Feeney movie. It's because it's a true life story. I mean, it's a true story about TVA. 
Um, and them people got justice. I'm so sorry that they got poisoned. And I hate that Tom Girardi, now his name is a poison in people's mouth because of what he did in real life. But what nobody can say that he did not, him and Aaron, the real Aaron, did fight and get them people money. Now, I don't know if Tom stole any of them people's money. I would say shame on you if you did, but the money that he did steal from the other people is no better. He stole from people that lost people in horrible accidents. People that got hurt in horrible like accidents and he stole their money so I'm not saying that if he stole them people's money that got um, cancer because of uh, TVA poisoning the water um, I'm not saying that there's their cases are worse than the other people's cases because the people that he did steal from um their cases was also was also bad um but i liked that i liked it the portrayal of like i liked the way that he played tom girardi i liked the way that aberfini played tom because it made it made tom a likable lawyer but the real Tom Girardi doesn't hold a candle to Aberfany. I'm just saying that. Um, another movie that I can watch over and over is... <laughs> I know two movies I cannot. And it's personal. But anyhow, I'll tell you about them um, later. Mm. I could watch Across the Universe over and over and over and over back to back. Um, Holiday Heart can watch it cry in the exact same spot. That movie is very personal to me. In, in different ways. I don't want to talk about it because it will make me cry and it will make me sad. But Holiday Heart with um, Ray Fiennes. Not Ray Fiennes. Um, uh, Vaughn. Ray Vaughn? Nope. Vaughn. Vaughn Rains. I think that's his name. Um, he was Holiday Heart in the movie. Um... Which I actually like him as an actor. He he's growing on me. He's growing on me. He he reminds me of a couple of older gentlemen that I have met in my life. Not not in that way. Not in that way. Like respectfully. Like older gentlemen that I have met that were were gentlemen. They and it wasn't like when I met them it wasn't in any sexual or any flirtatious way it was genuine I met these guys they never tried anything with me I never like the the line literally was never was never in the sand because we was not coming into that to that introduction in that way we literally was coming in as two respect respectable adults not trying to get to know each other in that way so when i say i have met a couple of gentlemen it literally was only platonic i think that's the right word it was only for friends it was never going to be romantic and it never will be. 
because I don't see them in that way and they don't see me in that way. And that's, you know, and I don't I don't think I would ever see them in that way because of the respect I have for them. Let me say that on my part. I can only speak for me. I don't think that they will see me like that because I never gave off that type of vibe that that's where I want want our friendship to go, if I could say that. So that's what I'm saying. He's growing on me, but that's just because I know gentlemen in my real life. That reminds me of him. But this video is long enough, so I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all tell me what movie y'all can watch over and over.